Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. If the camera quality looks a little bit different, it's because it is different. I'm actually using my iPhone 5 right now. And Matt and I decided to exchange our Canon PowerShot for the exact same Canon PowerShot um, so that we could see if a new one would get rid of the clicking sound that it makes whenever it's trying to focus. So the new camera is supposed to arrive today, but I'm on my way to the grocery store right now. I did my meal planning this morning. I'll put a little clip in right here of the meals that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna bake some chicken and some Brussels sprouts, the wintergreen salad again with the pomegranates and the walnuts because that was really good. I'm gonna make a lentil soup recipe and then I'm also gonna make a vegetable curry recipe. And then I'm also gonna make two snack recipes. One is a kale chip recipe and the other one is a roasted chickpea snack recipe. So then this morning I did some more reading for my comprehensive exams. So that's coming along good. I did not exercise this morning. Yesterday, my neck, um, I think, had a pull muscle in it. So even though I did exercise yesterday, I felt like um, today I needed to just take a break and let my body recover so that I didn't further injure myself. So I decided I wanted to get some disposable gloves for cleaning. I was watching April Justin TV and I saw that she uses disposable gloves when she's cooking raw meat. So I see they have some here. So let's see, there's 30 in here. But this is what I've got in the basket for Target. Honey Nut Cheerios, some Tazo tea for Matt, trash bags, disposable gloves, some olive oil, and some sponges. I just wanted to record a video of these birds on the, um, the shopping carts. They were all chirping and then they stopped suddenly. I don't know why. They're just hanging out. So I'm making this vegetable curry and one of the ingredients is cumin seeds. Hmm. Ah, I think I see it up here, yeah. Well, good thing I only need a teaspoon and a half because this is expensive. But this is cumin seed powder. I have ground cumin at home, but let's see. All right, perfect. I found cumin seed hole here in this little spicely container, so I'm gonna get it. It's time for another Reese grocery haul. camera zooms in so much further. Yeah, crops it. You don't get the background. I think it does that for image stabilization. Well, we know these cameras aren't very good. Actually, the uh, iPhone 6 is pretty good. Well, I'm using an iPhone 5. It's better on the iPhone 6. They exactly, improve. yeah. It still zooms in, though. Matt wanted to try this apricot nectar. Something that we never buy is juice. Maybe I should, I'll just start with a small one because I don't know what it is. I mean, apricots are good. I mean, I can't imagine it tasting bad. It's fruit juice, right? How is it? Tastes like apricots. What's the difference between an apricot and a peach? Made from real apes. <laughs> uh, that's a, that's a The Office joke. I think oh. Michael Scott makes that joke. Um, that was good. Do you want to try it? Uh, sure. Thank you, Dia, for pouring me a spot of nectar. Hmm. I see why they call it nectar. It's thicker. Sweet. The juice. One of the recipes calls for that. I'm going to make some rosemary lemon chicken tonight. So I'm going to cut a couple of sprigs off of my rosemary plant. It's actually doing pretty good. This was the one plant that I wanted to save because I really like rosemary. It smells good. And, um, you know, it just, I think it's kind of a pretty plant. So I'm just seasoning the chicken right now. And the gloves are a little bit big, but um, they're getting the job done. 
I actually have a recipe for this rosemary chicken on the Cooking with Aubrey playlist, so feel free to check it out. But I just wanted to show you all that I'm using the gloves, and so far they're working pretty good besides the fact that they're a little big. Okay guys, so the new camera has arrived, and here it is. So I'm recording with it. This is a good test to see if I'm going to hear that clicking sound because we usually hear it when we're at home and we're in a quiet place. We know. Got my new silk and steel strings. Silk and steel. <laughs> it's gonna be my album title. <laughs> I still don't know if I have an allergic reaction to them yet. I have to wait a few days. It's been so long since I played. Play my favorite, play Blackbird. So out of tune. I think these uh, strings might have a little bit more trouble staying in tune, but I'm not sure about that. I haven't tuned it today, so maybe that's all it is. I don't have any um, You don't straps, have a strap, so yeah. It's like getting a little hard on my arm. You want to sit down? Yeah. Wow. It's like a... <laughs> violin. A violin. <laughs> <laughs> Check these out, they sell them on Amazon. Silken strings and invisible, invisible bows. bows. You could start a new That's thing a... though and start playing guitar up on your shoulder like that. Like that could be your signature thing. Yeah, it's just hard. It's probably why most people don't do it. Exactly. Oh, but that's what this but that's... little gap is for. That, exactly, and that's what makes it cool. Have y'all seen Matt? That's what they're going to say. Definitely much louder. Feel out, feel out of practice. Well, I reckon you'll have plenty of time to practice. Hopefully you're not allergic. Well, the other thing is the frets. I don't know what these are made out of. They might be made out of nickel. Yeah.